right now we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Richardson looking to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Throwing again, it's Richardson on second down. Escaping the pressure right. Looking deep for Julio. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And Richardson back to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be out right at the 35. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off play action. Richardson dancing to his left. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Tell you what. He's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Ah, oh, that would have been a nice one to hit on in a tie game. You start to think that one big play, maybe the next big play, could turn out to be the game winner. They took the big shot. And this is going to be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Richardson to throw it. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Bengals have just... Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Richardson. Rolling to his right. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need him to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. Buying time to his left. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. What a time to come up with a play like that. They are now in field goal range. But the opportunity is also there to try and win the game outright. Richardson, 
And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And it's in. Complete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, this fan base on the losing side.
tonight from Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Richardson working from the gun. Steps away to his left. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Baron Browning able to run him down for a loss of a yard. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Richardson now on second down. Flush to his right. As it completes to Jackson Smith. It's a first down. But we know that he can get first downs with his arm and his legs, Charles. And there when he gets outside of the pocket, the defense has to account for both, and he's able to complete it for the first. And he's very comfortable outside of the pocket. Some quarterbacks, that's not their thing for him. That seems to be the number one asset to his game. Gets out into the open field, things seem to break down the secondary a little bit, and he picks out the right target. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Operating from the gun, Richardson checks this one down to Robinson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. The Bills at five and four now on the year. And they come in losers at two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now Richardson on first and 10, flushed out right. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After one six.